Welcome to round two of the state of the server, where after the quite rocky launch of Early Access Wayfinder, there's finally some good news everyone that I'm really happy to share about the game today. Now unfortunately, no, there is no miraculous fix for the servers just yet, the developers are already back and actively working hard on fixing the problems, and the studio is already preparing a big official announcement soon, responding to all the major feedback players have sent them on day one, including the store, so while I'm going to touch some sensitive topics first, stay tuned, as spoiler alert, it does end well. If you haven't been exactly following the shitstorm around Wayfinder, as the servers were basically constantly crashing, the studio was also bombarded from another direction over their unfriendly monetization in their in-game shop, and this specific picture has become very widespread, showcasing that while not everything in the store, but certain products were priced in such a way that they were just above a specific in-game currency threshold you could purchase, and if you wanted to buy that item you would have to invest into the next year of currency bundle, basically forcing you to spend more than you would have liked, which is a very common practice in the industry, but at the very same time it is also one of the most disliked predatory monetization practices. Players have also opened a petition on Wayfinder's official feedback board to normalize the store prices, and lots of people were demanding action on this, since Airship Syndicate promised they would be better, and there is no place for such practices if they do intend to keep their word on having a player-friendly monetization system. As I said, the community manager Solid Age has also made an update post about a soon-to-be-released official announcement, and one of the topics of this announcement will be none other than the store monetization and the rune silver bundle prices that we just talked about, among three other major topics, the server issues, founder's packs items missing, and the player compensation I mentioned earlier today in my previous video. As expected, such announcement was immediately received with some skepticism on the already doom-scrolling official Discord, to which we got an instant update from Solid Age, confirming that the weapon prices that players sent feedback about in the store will in fact see a price reduction, which is a huge win in my opinion for multiple reasons. Now I won't be playing the naive person here, if we are being honest, those prices shouldn't have been live in the first place, they were obviously predatory, but at the same time, their willingness to change it is a very positive outlook for the studio, and reacting to player feedback so soon, while they also have all the other much worse issues to deal with, is a good sign that the devs are listening and they are trying to do their best in delivering a game that we're all satisfied with and keep their promise of staying customer friendly. They also started delivering quick fixes to the servers to try to solve the issues and let more players in, and while it isn't a quick and easy fix, they will slowly increase the amount of players who can join in, and they'll continue to update the community and the official Discord 24-7 whenever they have updates about what is going on, with more to be announced later with the official studio statement. All in all, after the radio silence of the devs going for a brief rest, this has been a very pleasant first announcement, and while the launch is still very much considered a disaster, and rightfully so, it gives me hope that Wayfinder is a project worth supporting, things just aligned really, really badly for the early access launch, and it's hard to get things stabilized. Thank you for joining for another quick update everyone, hope you're as optimistic about this as I am. As more things are getting announced and we get more important information that's worth knowing about, I will make sure to update you all, so subscribe if you're interested. But that's it for now, stay safe everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.